Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I want to talk to you about this little beauty, the Cressula Hot and Tot. I think it's a crazy, interesting and fun houseplant uh, with a quite an interesting story as well. So without further ado, let's get stuck into it. Okay, so this is the Cressula Hot and Tot. It's also called the Necklace Vine. It's obviously a, a succulent and member of the cactus family. I really love this. It's got the sort of bluey, greeny colours with red accents on the edge of the leaves as well, which uh, just look really amazing. And, and the colour will change depending on what plant you have and what light levels it is, what time of year it's. It's in the middle of the winter here at the moment, so uh, it's looking more greeny than bluey right now. It's got these beautifully tiny little white flowers on it as well, which uh, look really cool. And that they're really crazy, these things. The forms that they can make are just amazing. I really like this one. I fitted it up with a, a pot with similar sort of color tones to it as well. And I wanted it to be a little bit tall so these branches could sort of fall down a bit. It's not like a, um, a hanging plant or anything like that. It normally forms a relatively tight habit. Uh, when it gets full sun but I keep this one in my downstairs toilet which is bright but indirect light all day long and all year round so as you can see it's kind of spread out a little bit looking for the light a little bit more by doing that it creates all these amazing patterns and uh, I really like the shape of it and you can really have some fun with this depending on where you put it. It's pretty tolerant. It generally should have pretty much full sun as long as it's not too scorching. It can scorch in full, full sun, but being a, a succulent, it will prefer a lot of sun. Again, it doesn't need too much watering at all. You wanna make sure that the soil dries out completely before you water it again. In the winter, it needs very little water. All those sort of fleshy leaves is where it stores its uh, its water anyway, so it can go quite long times without actually being watered. So it's pretty easy to look after, to be honest with you. It's uh, native to South Africa and Mozambique. Actually, the name Hottentot comes from, I didn't know this, uh, my wife told me this, she's from South Africa. Uh, the name actually uh, comes from the indigenous hunter-gatherer people of Southern Africa. The correct name for them was the Khoi Khoi or the Sam people, I believe, after looking it up. The Hottentot is a bit of a derogatory name given to them a long time ago. But uh, yeah, interesting history looking back, and that's what I love about houseplants. Sometimes it can be the spur to find out more about the history of the plant, and that leads on to more interesting stories as well. So it's got to love that about the uh, houseplant hobby. There's always so much to learn. So yeah, the tenderness uh, doesn't like the cold. You want to make sure it's definitely inside during the winter and the colder months. It will not tel tolerate any sort of dampness. It needs a well-drained soil as well. It won't tolerate being sat in moist sand. It'll just rot out and die very quickly. Sandy, small grit soils, best. Really free draining is what this uh, will like best. It's uh, probably toxic for cats and dogs. So you want to make sure you keep this out of the way of any pets. If you do have them, make sure that they can't get hold of them. If you're worried probably just not to uh, best not to keep them if you do have cats that can can get anywhere in your house then probably not one for you yeah this one actually was given to me by a neighbor who rooted uh, cutting of uh, their own plant and they really are easy to propagate you can literally cut anything off this plant show it a bit of soil and it will pretty much root and grow away straight away it's uh, it's one of those types of plants really easy to grow more of them so great for creating gifts if you want to grow some small plants like this to, to give away as gifts for people really easy and a fun sort of thing to do to find some small pots like this and grow into other plants that you can give away so definitely one of those a bit of fun and you can you can have fun creating different sort of structures like I have with this one if you do give it full sun it will be more compact and, and look totally different and it has slightly less sun then yeah you'll get more of these crazy types and shapes as it searches for a bit more light but as you can see it's very uh, happy it's actively growing and, and blooming as well so uh, it's quite a happy little plant and uh, I really enjoy looking at it and uh, yeah I would definitely recommend it if uh, you're looking for a, a succulent like this it's a lot of fun and a great value for money 
So say you can get hundreds of uh, plants out of this, out of just one plant by taking cuttings and rooting them and having fun uh, making various different shapes and structures with it. So uh, I'll put a link in the description below where you can grab one if you want to. Other than that, that pretty much wraps it up, I think. Thanks for watching. Uh, please do consider giving me a thumbs up if uh, you found this video interesting or helpful. And... Um, a subscribe as well I'm trying to build up this houseplant channel if possible and so a subscribe would really benefit me I've got lots of videos coming up in the near future because I've got a massive back catalogue of plants I want to share with you and talk about and some fun projects as well I do enjoy creating projects with houseplants and uh, terrariums and things like that so if you want to see more of these please do consider subscribing and hit that bell notification icon as well so you can get notified every time I to upload a video. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.